Hey everyone, Jeff here. Uh, gonna be talking today about the Rebel Transport, also known as the Pickle. Hey everybody, let's talk about the Rebel Transport a little bit, shall we? Um, this is a toy that I absolutely hated when I was a kid. I thought it was out of scale compared to what was on the movie. And I just didn't think the design was very good. For one thing, as my childlike uh, brain couldn't contemplate, putting a, a figure in there and there's no place for it to look out. I guess that's why that top part comes off where you can actually see the cockpit. But to me, it just, it never made sense because there was no viewport to look out of. I, I know, that just sounds stupid, but that's just the way it was in my head. So I, I never really liked this thing. Plus, you know, it was basically a glorified um, figure holder and I had my beloved uh, Darth Vader figure case um, to do that instead. So I never really got this thing. Never really wanted it when I was a kid, never had it. And then, over the last few years, as it's kind of been happening with some of the other uh, vehicles also, namely the uh, B-Wing, um, I've really started liking this thing. And the design aesthetic has come around to the point where I'm like, this is a really cool ship. So I kind of want to start getting make, make sure I get complete on all my, uh, my ships that I, I want to get. And this is right at the top of the list. So a few months ago, with the help of um, Scott Hughes, I was able to find one. He was actually able to find one. And I was able to uh, get that from him and have him sent here to, to me. And lo and behold, he found one with a a nice, semi-nice box. I'm not a box box collector, but it's always kind of cool to have them. Um, this one turned out to be the box with the yellow um, photo on it, which was a little more rare. I was told by Mr. Scuba Pete. And so that's even a, bi a bigger plus. Thank you, Scott. Um, and this this ship is that he found is absolutely in amazing condition it's as you can kind of see as a as we're going through rotating it around pulling it apart and seeing things it's it's in great shape the the decals the um all the two guns in the back are there the uh the cockpit is is fully complete it even has all of the um backpacks and the uh and the breathers but the breathers are, are Pretty yellowed, um, which I kind of think that's pretty standard these days for those because of that type of plastic they were used uh, that was used on them. But man, over and all in all, this is a great piece. I had no idea the rebels were so well equipped. As I'm also starting to find out, is one of the things that's going to be kind of tough is where the heck do I put this thing? So I've got it in a spot now. I think I'm going to eventually hang it on the wall. I'm going to work on that a little bit. But for right now, I've got it in a spot in the in the closet with a lot of the other figures and vehicles I've collected over the last years and years and years so um, it's in a good spot and uh, amongst its own and yeah it, this this thing has just really turned out to be cool I, I was actually just watching some scenes from uh, Empire to kind of see it again in 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 theater format you know in a, in, a, in a movie and man it's just it's got that jagged it's it's like a rebel thing where it's it's not sexy it's not you it's utilitarian but it's also very cool and sleek looking in its own way. Um, the Kenner version, uh, the toy itself is really cool. Love the cannons in the back. It's kind of a weird thing as far as taking the top off where you gotta turn that top that top uh, handle. It's nice to have a handle, but you gotta turn that thing. And it's kind of interesting, the uh, top of it, the little black part, you know, it looks like a ship on its own. Like it's a, a shuttle away from the shuttle sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this 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 sample here that I, that I Scott was able to find for me is just in great shape, and it's it's one of my prize pieces now. It's it's really really cool. Um, yeah, can't say enough about this this ship now. So, like I said, always hated it when I was a kid. Have really come around to it, like I have with a lot of the other ones, and um, was able to finally finally get one. And uh, it's a it's a great piece to add to the collection. And if you haven't got one for yourself these days, try to find one. They're not too bad. Price-wise, they've definitely gone up like everything else has, but um, 
they're still they're still out there they're still findable and uh, it's a it's a great piece to have so anxious to see what uh, mr. Schaefer has on his too so you guys have fun and enjoy the show thanks bye The guys over at Chasing 80s Toys were nice enough to ask me to give you my thoughts on the Rebel Transport. Ships, prepare for jump to hyperspace! Before we look at the transport itself, I want to point out that it came with five backpacks and four respirators. Not only is a Rebel Transport a vehicle, it also is a figure carrier. If you turn the top and pull off, you can see that it carries several figures. I'm not exactly sure of the number. It's something 24 or 34, something like that. Also, before you take the top off, you can also remove the front, which shows the pilot area, or the rear, which shows the laser gunner area. Once the top is off, as I showed before, you can set that aside. Another great feature is the laser turret can be taken off and that can be its own separate laser cannon area that you can use as its own separate toy which I did several times as a child. You can also take off or rather take out the plastic insert with all the figures and underneath there is a cardboard insert that's riveted in place along with an escape hatch that's often missing and can be an expensive piece to find to complete the transport. But I think it's superior to all the other carrying cases because it's also a vehicle. The only other carrying case that you might want to argue can give it a run for its money is the laser rifle carrying case that came out for Return of the Jedi. Um, you could use it as a laser rifle separately from a carrying case, but it didn't carry many figures and I wouldn't recommend using it as a rifle when figures are inside. I want to thank Chris, Jeff, and Pete for inviting me on Chasing Eddie's Toys for letting me give you my thoughts on the Rebel Transport. I'd like to give you an anecdote of when I was a child and what I thought about the toy playing growing up. For me, there was only really one other Rebel vehicle for Hoth, and that was the Rebel Snowspeeder big rebel armored snow speeder for those who are pedantic. And a friend of mine that I grew up playing with, Josh Deck, had both the snow speeder and the rebel troop transport. I had the ADAT, I had the ATST, but it didn't have any other hot vehicles and especially didn't have any rebel vehicles. So every time I went over there, I grabbed my ADAT, my Darth Vader a carrying, figure carrying case, um, sometimes the ATST, sometimes a Tauntaun, sometimes a Wampa. Throw those all in the car and I'd go over there with my mom and we'd play Star Wars. But the fact that it could carry figures, the fact that it was a vehicle and a playset that you could have adventures around it, it had the escape hatch, it had the uh, detention cell, it had all these different play features that let your imagination run wild and you saw it very little in the movie but the fact that that mystery was there it allowed you to come up with your own play ideas and play features um, so anyway thank you very much i greatly appreciated being invited on and have a great day Well, that was my take on the Pickle, the Rebel Transport, one of my uh, most recent acquisitions for the group uh, that you see behind me here for the collection. Um, like I said before, I never really liked that that uh, that uh, vehicle when I was a kid. I've come to love it and actually had, I had to have it. And thanks again to Scott for finding that one for me. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed uh, Mr. Schaefer's uh, take on his. And um, thanks everyone.